Hello, welcome to another episode of the Stock Market Technical Analysis. Today, we are going to be focusing on the, a set of stock that uh, move the markets or that uh, we are looking forward for tomorrow. Namely, that will be a SPY because it's expiration Wednesday, uh, Tesla, <laughs> NIO, uh, CCL, uh, FedEx, uh, and uh, a few others to, to set ourselves up for tomorrow which we usually call as well Wednesday in our usual uh, stock uh, market technical analysis uh, today show. So without any further ado, let us go ahead and get started. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, let's actually start with SPY. So SPY today, this is the daily chart of SPY. Uh, the trend on SPY, if you notice on here, we have had for the crossover between the EMA 8 and 20, uh, the the EMA 8 is in uh, yellow as usual here in uh, the, this chart on trading view you have seen that many times in our uh, typical um, uh, stock market technical analysis uh, today shows in the mo in the morning here a every morning we have one at uh, 8 40 eastern so if you would like uh, please uh, by all means uh, subscribe to the, our youtube channel and you will get the notification the alerts so spy on here has been trending up but literally it hits a a kind of a resistance here at 364 that was last monday on november the 9th right so since then we have gone sideways we crept a little bit back close to that but today we gap down and really the last couple of days have not provided other than this gap uh, up here which typical of mondays right look look actually we could do conduct a a quant analysis to see okay what's the probability of spy gapping more than three points on mondays yeah okay so maybe let's do that one tomorrow is an easy quant analysis we can do that tomorrow in our stock uh market technical analysis uh today to today in tomorrow's uh, morning show on on, on wild wednesday so let, let, let's see what that's it but tomorrow definitely be looking for spy because let's look at the 30 minutes we like to use different time streams here right so very quickly on here as we have a lot of stock to go over uh in, in this show today so here is what some um, the week has been so far we each candle here represent 30 minutes uh the 16 it's kind of a sideway except this year folks this year it's actually the last two minutes huh let's actually go to the one minute chart and prove that to you uh well we will have to go through all of the day today uh look at this this was the closing no uh, that, that's the 17 uh, that's the 17 so the 17 was today 9 eastern so we have to go further back sorry about that okay this is what we're talking about yeah Let, let's 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 go further and i'll actually show you that so the 17 is today wednesday uh, november the 17 but look at yesterday november the 16 my time zone it's a uh, pacific time as you can see here a universal time minus eight so the last two minutes of the session they decided they decided though to go from 361 to 362 <laughs> yeah i mean you could have traded it because as you know right uh, spy has a uh, 15 extra minutes of trading but i mean it was frustrating all the way we tried we tried yesterday it didn't work out today it wasn't much movement at all the end let's go back to a different granularity 15 minutes later yep uh so and then let me move this here this guy here and go all the way to that and zoom zoom further into see so today look look at the close today we didn't have our usual uh type of move uh in the closing here today so but uh hey tomorrow we will be ready yeah we will definitely be ready i mean if you we can, could we argue that let's say the high here 361.92 the low of 360 that's two points i mean yeah a little bit but look look at this because folks while this is happening right today was an expiration so maybe not so this is this is 45 minutes here folks these three candles yeah along with there is so many let's say if here you recognize okay potential resistance there so maybe after this candle actually the the thought could have been that hey we are going to go bullishly but they never sideways for 45 minutes so boring 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 spike for over the last uh, couple of days so other than the gap up so well wednesday we expect something we expect hey uh definitely target on here 355 to the yellow line which is the ema8 or hey 365 so 365 uh 355 that's what will be what we will be targeting tomorrow should should we open exactly around 360 so that that's a struggle for you there folks so mark it down and to see what what's uh what's what's under next talking line oh can we do the qqqs we can do the queues as well the queues have not been faring any any better yeah 
very tight, right? L look at this range here. The high, 293. The close, 292.27. That's all you need to know. Very, very tight. So we expect move here up or down. Uh, they, they have to choose a, a direction on here. Last couple of days, not, not much to chew on the queues. Um, all right. So very quickly, IWM. Hey, IWM, the Russell 2K. <laughs> Actually, that's the one that has been showing range, folks. Yeah, we gap up Monday, and from there it was a little bit quiet. Intraday move from 176.49, as you see there. I'm reading my numbers on here. If you are new here with um, our stock um, uh, market technical analysis uh, charting on trading view, so but today we open 176. He decided to put in a low 174.28 and from there rallied actually so a nice four points rally for this for 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 iwm not bad at all so that's this one we need to maybe be putting more attention this is the move folks mm -hmm. iwm is quietly putting in moves so i'm interested starting tomorrow because it was the expiration on friday so i hope i hope that it's not going to become quiet because four points i'm interested obviously we gapped up from from friday 173.5 to 176.5 three points there so we gapped up we didn't do anything on monday today we put in a low and then so this thing is trading at all-time high folks yes any stock that's a, that's another angle right that there's a strategy here oh these things if you know what these things are these are just measures of move we 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 have experience with uh, iwm making some uh, uh yeah 20 baggers yes that that was the, the but uh they, they, this thing is coming alive all time high i am in i'm interested so definitely iwm has my attention so all all, all please are first <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> with spy expiration iwm yes we're gonna be paying attention excellent what are we going to be paying attention actually maybe that uh we're gonna be paying attention to tesla because um we took a strangle trade today folks on tesla <laughs> yes it well tesla is definitely a bit the, the the news came out that uh, it was included in the sm standard and pool are 500 so congratulations tesla so now the correlation we're gonna have to draw correlation between spy and tesla uh it will be interesting to see its weighting compared to the likes of uh, microsoft apple uh um, yeah the, the the big the big funds right so even in relation to maybe something like uh, nvidia nvidia or paper which have been getting in the top 10 so it would be interesting to, to to track that but today it could not sustain the huge gap 13 percent uh gap uh in the stock in the morning from a close yesterday of 48 to 460. look at this this candle tells you everything you need to say but it wasn't that trivial right and the 15 minute chart we can show you here so this candle i mean it was bullish it was bearish rather all the way from go if you would try to trade uh we didn't get our gain store uh in the the, the way too expensive but below we were posting lower lows yes we had an entry and they paid a little bit i mean the the 400 they paid they they they, 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 get, they got a profit of about 50 percent and then it reversed and then sideways from, from there on right so typical of, of tra trading here 8 30 that's 11 30 eastern force trading clock strike again mm -hmm. yeah 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 on but we have three days left yeah so something has got to give because this is no man's land here on the daily chart if we try another time frame here let's say the four hours yeah the four hour, oh i love i love me these setups where's the upper bollinger the open bollinger is at 445 we close at 441 and according to this if this after hours is correct saying 439 i mean after hours on this thing i'm not so sure let me check maybe on now uh, another device here to see uh that after but tesla i mean doesn't matter after hours as you know i mean the, the, this stock can decide whatever that the algo wants it to do we're just in for a ride yeah <laughs> we're just in for a ride so but the, the setup here folks uh where's the 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 support 423 i'm reading the yellow line from here and the green line here so yeah that's uh i would be interested so our struggle is still in place uh, what are we using so we are using the 400 initially we had the the three something as well but those are super cheap and then on the upside i think we have 600 
they were cheap as well all right so that's the setup on tesla we're looking forward to that tomorrow next stop very quickly on here so we change charts on here neo neo had earnings folks and how is neo performing after hours following its earnings uh as we are getting ourselves we are right in the middle of our stock market technical analysis uh today show uh thank you if you're watching successful trading for the first time we appreciate you uh so for neo um this, this is a, a chart that i mean it's just from out of nowhere yes the date you are reading is october 12th so this stock in a matter of a month has master has has the audacity the unmitigated goal <laughs> and that like, come on now <laughs> you're not Stephen a <laughs> to go from 22 dollars yes folks 22 dollars to 54 dollars amazing and then this morning it just got earnings is relatively flat i mean minus two uh, percent for for this stock is nothing so we will see tomorrow we will begin start trading this uh or, yeah for sure because implied volatility is going to drop so please um subscribe such that you can get a notification for our pre-market show um in, in the morning and uh, we will teach you if uh, you haven't done so uh, we have videos on this youtube channel that teach you how to 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 take advantage with very little money we even sometimes we yeah, are knows it is we say oh how to trade with no money literally folks because we are talking pennies that's what you can throw at this thing to see to see opportunity yes this is possible that's the leverage that options have over stock right so if you are new to to trading and especially how we approach our trading here at successful trading so the setup hey flat no problem uh we we know how to trade this one tomorrow we will be ready for this daily chart this this is a pitch folks this is a pitch all right next stock in line for us that's actually what great it has been working great here folks for i meant to make do a video yesterday my fault so i apologize for that so what happened on here this is ccl carnival carnival corporation yeah the cruises this one trade like rcl so it's a it's a by de facto proxy if you will so uh last friday uh the folks inside of the big institution the big shark if you will inside of uh flow algo there were tons of prints tons of prints after this and guess what this is the candle on friday guess what on monday huge gap up not as huge as this one though i we didn't get this one but this one here from this year to here was 200 percent move we are trading the 20 calls expiring uh november the 20th yeah so those paid we sold partially we left some and today they they paid a little bit but the one that's really really got our attention today is the tiniest position that we started on the november 27 25 calls uh they initially when we started the position they were going for five cents and then today they drop at two cents bid and three cents ask we took some we took a lot <laughs> let's say let's say that's that's let's let's, let's be uh, uh honest select we took a lot <laughs> and then they went to five cents we were like mm -hmm, interesting and then toward the end of the day the stock was a little bit stretched it sell off a little bit so as long as as long as this thing keeps above the 18 range or anything all it needs really is room on the bollinger band yeah it can pop on a single day folks and those are cheap our contracts on the november 27 uh calls they can really really pop so we're looking forward to that hopefully those four people who put millions of dollars on here about uh, just shy of uh, 16 dollars they are still interested and uh, on the bigger scale look at this so yeah and there's room you see why i picked that 25 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so we need to clear this box here so let, let, let's draw a box here can we draw a box you're not good at drawing text are you so let's just clear this here this direct box yeah so above 20 game on game on folks hey we have let's say a trading oh but next week is thanksgiving so next key week is thanksgiving week okay so yeah yeah we, we need this to happen a uh, pretty fast yeah <laughs> so the 27 uh yeah thursday yeah but it is half day on the 27 so we will have three days and we have wednesday thursday and this friday left yeah we, we have six days let's see what happened here on ccl carnival corporation uh let's see next tech next next and last stock, stock here for us as we are about to conclude this stock market technical analysis today show uh it's one that really has been promising we, we can share this okay guys yeah fedex F fedex has been uh 
doing it was it, it did some heavy lifting today we have, we have been scrutinizing the 290 calls yeah yesterday they picked up maybe a dollar 20 and then retreated below uh a dollar they were like 68 cents toward the close there and then this morning they went all the way to 40 cents yeah so but for us we actually reset and uh, because we know that you don't need to be in the money to make money we got into some cheap 300 305 uh, that actually percolated uh, yes they, i think they went all the way to 100 percent uh yeah well above 100 percent toward the last five minutes and then the computers took over they are doing that thing yeah because we, there was this spike this is the last candle here of the day on, on fedex when it went to 286 so from a daily setup on um on the daily chart um it's just a, running maybe a little out of room on the bollinger band but definitely i mean it has proven that it can top the bollinger band here so let's see tomorrow the bollinger band is at 287.61 we just need a small misunderstanding for this thing to touch the 290 and uh, we have today we have tomorrow when well wednesday and thursday that's usually known as payday for us that's how we usually call it on our stock market technical analysis shows okay folks uh so you have it we did the review of uh Five stocks on here, we're not counting the, the, the ETFs, SPY, QQQ, IWM, SPY and IWM, they have our attention definitely, but uh, NEO, uh, in terms of gangster trade, CCL, the setup that we have, including next week, Tesla definitely has to make uh, some, some, some type of move tomorrow and Thursday, and even all the way to Friday, because for, uh, Tesla is a stock known to, to move on Friday, so we are looking forward to that, we hope you will be with us in the pre-market analysis at 8.40 eastern time until then we wish you a great evening a great afternoon a great morning wherever you're catching this from bye bye